beer or espresso TV watchers, let's have some uh, view to the back of history and uh, of German history of making espresso. I must admit that it's a very, very poor beginning. As you see, such a luxury machine made in Germany is outstanding in the design. I would say it's a piece of modern art which produces for sure a little bit shitty espresso, but does not matter. Uh, it just looks great. It looks great. As an example here, the water tank, very innovative uh, push-button technology here, flush. And what you see is uh, empty space, not filled with water, no, no. That seems to be here the uh, some protection for particles, I don't know. It looks more like a Legoland machine, but does not matter, or Playmobil. Here also a very interesting technique is the filter holder. Zap. This one here is very massive uh, design, you see. It more looks like, uh, I don't know what, what it is, but uh, it's so poor that it's uh, starting getting cool and then you have to fix it from the, if you are able, from the front and turn it back to the back. So it's the opposite of every normal machine, but this makes it cool. That's like the German UFO for espresso freaks, okay? Made in 1960 or I don't know, Moulinex is a quite well-known brand, but here cool push-button technology, you see, it does not keep the position, it's only, uh, yeah, this one yes, but this one here only as long as you push the button, then the espresso is running. So, okay, well, I would call it, that's the first pure uh, plastic bomber made in Germany. Okay, ciao.